tutorial, we will continue with the profile toolbar. Let's try the rectangle. Similar to the profile toolbar, you need to click on the rectangle and click on the first point and drag it towards the right hand side or left hand side on whichever direction you need and click on the second time. This is a non-constrained mode of the rectangle. To constrain it, we will be seeing that in the upcoming tutorial. Similarly, you have other options of rectangle. As you can see, oriented rectangle and uh, parallelogram. In the oriented rectangle, once if you click the first side and then you just drag it. You just offset that particular line so this is a kind of parallelogram where you just define the line that you would like the rectangle to be parallel with let's see the third type that's a parallelogram if you'd like to avoid the automatic constraining you just hold down the shift key so two sides whatever you create whatever figure you create two sides will be obviously parallel so in this case that's not the case so you get the one side that you would you want it parallel you define it and then you drag it outward so try it for yourself and you can find out so that's the elongated hole first you need to define the first center and drag it and the third time click once so in this case as you can see the constraint here of the offset is already defined if you don't want this you can delete it or if you want to change it, you can double click and change it. More about constraints will be discussed in the coming tutorials. You have another option, cylindrical elongated hole. As we go further, you need to understand that once you understand the basics, for example, once you understand how you can create the profile, everything else is almost explanatory. So once you click here, you need to notice that every tool you select, you get the option right here. So let's see what what this one brings us with. We first selected the center, then we selected the one of the circumference. We are clicking on one of the circumference of the circle and we drag it outside as an arc and click once and then we select the offset. So this might be a little difficult so I'll just explain it again. Firstly select the center of the circle, then select click on one of the circumference of the circle, drag it outwards to make an arc and select the second point on the circumference of the circle and then just drag it outwards to create the offset now let's see how you can create the keyhole profile first click second click third click and the fourth click so when you do this you could always follow the instruction right here so first click the center of the small radius you need to define so that's the small radius the first one we defined was the center of the bigger radius now you define the offsets and then we define the radius of the bigger circle all right so that's the keyhole then we have the hexagon define the center of the circle and drag it outwards and you get the hexagon right here you have uh, this this particular option is pretty important so you can uh, pay attention to this this is a centered rectangle so once for example this is a center and you just drag it outwards unlike the other rectangle which we have created before this rectangle automatically adjusts itself and uh, maintains a symmetry so if i just drag this line outwards the uh, the equivalent amount of uh, length is being changed here so if you want to see if you want to really try that out you need to fix one point right here as you can see the the shape of the rectangle changes symmetrically the last option that's the centered parallelogram it's somewhat similar to the centered rectangle unlike in the centered parallelogram you need to select the first line select the second line right and you get the parallelogram right here unlike the other option for example, if we create two lines, and if you go for the center parallelogram, you get the parallelogram according to these two lines. So this use, usage of this kind of tools is all dependent on you. But as far as you're a student, you need to understand how the tool works. So try all of these tools out and let's see what comes in the next tool.